Uh, today is our first day of two new high tunnels here at uh, Texas A&M AgriLife Research Station. Uh, we have four other high tunnels out here beside me. Uh, we got funding for two more high tunnels, so today is the first day of starting those. We have laid out the, the batter boards, which are these wood structures behind me. Uh, we got string lines set up on those to where we have a perfect 30 foot wide by 96 foot long structure squared. And the way we did that was we measured off of this other high tunnel to get our one line. So and off of that line, we squared up the other three corners. So basically, we ran uh, a 300-foot tape measure crossways, both of them, and adjusted it, fine-tuned it until they were both the exact same. So we have a perfectly square uh, layout here for our new high tunnels. Uh, the reason why we square it up uh, to begin with is the covering on the high tunnel is only so much bigger than the structure itself. So if it's a little out of square, your fabric may not reach from corner to corner, and then you'll be in a huge bind because your structure is already set. So we start out, we do a lot of extra time uh, running string lines, making sure that our structure is gonna be perfectly square. Um, the basic land prep we did, I ran a, a chisel plow over it and then cultipacked it just to kind of flatten it out and break it up. Basically, we're laying it out right now is to get all of our uh, our walls and corners set up so that we can start our plumbing. And that'll be our next step is to uh, run PVC water lines and put frost-free faucets in each one of these so that we can run our drip system.